Bharadvaja was one of the revered Vedic sages in ancient India. He was a renowned scholar, economist, grammarian and physician. He is one of the Saptarishis. His contributions to ancient Indian literature, specifically the Rig Veda, provide significant insight into ancient Indian society. He and his family of students were the authors of the sixth book of the Rig Veda. In the epic Mahabharata, Bharadwaja was the father of the teacher Dronacharya, the instructor to Pandava and Kaurava princes. Bharadwaja is also mentioned in Karaka Samhita, an authoritative ancient Indian medical text. His full name in Vedic texts is Bharadvaja Bharaspadya, the last name referring to his father and Vedic deity sage Brihaspati. His mother was Mamata, wife of Yudhithya Rishi who was the elder brother of Bharaspati. He is one of the seven rishis mentioned four times in the Rigveda as well as in the Shatapatha Brahmana, thereafter revered in the Mahabharata and the Puranas. In some later Puranic legends, he is stated to be the son of Vedic sage Atri. In Buddhist Pali canonical texts such as Diga Nikaya, Tivijya Sutta describes a discussion between the Buddha and Vedic scholars of his time. The Buddha names ten rishis, calls them early sages and makers of ancient verses that have been collected and chanted in his era and among those ten rishis is Bharadvaja. The ancient Hindu medical treatise Karaka Samhita attributes Bharadvaja learning medical sciences from God Indra, after pleading that poor health was disrupting. The ability of human beings from pursuing their spiritual journey, and then Indra provides both the method and specifics of medical knowledge. The word Bharadvaja is a compound Sanskrit from Bhara and Vaya, which together mean bringing about nourishment. Bharadvaja is considered to be the initiator of the Bharadvaja Gotra of the Brahman, Kayastha and Bhumihar caste. Bharadvaja is the third in the row of the Pravara Rishis and is the first in the Bharadvaja Gatris, with the other two Rishis also being initiators of Gotras with their respective names. Bharadvaja and his family of students are 55. Bharadvaja and his family of students were the traditional poets of King Marada of the Vedic era, in the Hindu texts. Bharadvaja is a revered sage in the Hindu traditions, and like other revered sages, numerous treatises composed in the ancient and medieval eras are reverentially named after him. Some treatises named after him or attributed to him include, an 18th century painting of Sri Rama, Sita and Lakesmana with sage Bharadvaja according to one legend, Bharadvaja married Sushila and had a son named Garga and a daughter named Devavarshini. According to some other legends, Bharadvaja had two daughters named Ilavita and Katyayani, who married Vishrava and Yanavalcha respectively. According to Vishnu Purana, Bharadvaja had a brief liaison with an apsara named Gurtachi, and together they had a child who grew up into a warrior Brahmin named Dronacharya. While in Mahabharata, Drona is born when Bharadvaja ejaculated his semen in a pot. Bharadwaja is therefore directly linked to two important characters of the epic Mahabharata, Dronatriya and Asvathama, the son of Dronatriya. According to the Mahabharata, Bharadwaja trained Drona in the use of weapons. Bharadwaja had two disciples, Agnivesa and Drupada. Agnivesa taught Drona the mastery of the weapon Agnaya, while Drupad became the king of Panchala kingdom. In the epic Ramayana, Rama, Sita and Lakshmana meet Bharadwaja at his asrama at the start of their 14-year exile. The sage asks them to stay with him through the exile, but they insist on going deeper into the forest to Chitrakuta which is three koso away from the ashram. Bharadvaja gives them directions. Also, Bharatha along with Sumat received an ashram by Bharadvaja while Bharat went on to the forest in search of Lord Ram for a reunion and to bring Lord Rama, Sita and Laxmana back to Ayodhya. He reappears at various times in the epic. According to James Lochtefeld, the Bharadvaja in the Ramayana is different from the Vedic sage mentioned in Panini's Ashtadhyayi. Thanks for watching.